Earlier, I'd mentioned the options bar that runs right across the top of the Photoshop interface, and I made mention of the options bar being dynamic. Now, what that means is, and I think I mentioned this earlier, is essentially when I'm working with different tools inside the toolbox, when I'm working with different commands and options, the options that become available on the options bar across the top here is going to change. So right now I find myself on the move tool. Go ahead and choose the move tool yourself if you like. And then you'll see the same options across the top of your screen that I see across the top of my screen. Now most of the options here are grayed out for the moment, but let's try a couple of different things here. If I now switch to the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool there in the toolbox, second tool down, I now get a completely different set of options running across the top of my interface. Now, probably the best option or the, the best example, I should say, of the options bar in action is when we're creating text. Now, we'll talk about working with text and creating text much later on, but let me do this. I'm going to go and grab my type tool out of the toolbox. Go ahead and grab that guy. And now what I get across the options bar is I get a font menu, a font drop-down menu, just like you'd see in a lot of word processing applications, a style menu for the particular font, size, I have my anti-aliasing drop-down menu, alignment, color, and so on, right? So you might want to take some time and try selecting some different tools and keeping your eyeballs up on the options bar to see what options present themselves. And as we go along together, you'll see a lot of the tools and the options working together when we're completing various tasks.